Now the third species we grow at Aku Farm is the beach plum, Prunus maritima. This particular species is native from the tip of southern Maine all the way down to Virginia, native to coastal areas. Um, its roots are adapted to a sandy or salty soil, and so that makes them more widely adaptable to drier soils in general. Now its root system goes deep into the ground. It's a very extensive root system. It pulls up a lot of nutrients and in some cases can make a lot of fruit in ideal circumstances. Now the beach plum is a small fruit. Um, it is about an inch in diameter and it ripens uh, to purple in most cases. Now the fruit also occurs in yellow and red ripe forms, but the purple is the most common. Um, it's alleged that yellow tastes the best in general, but this has not been my experience. The flavor varies uh, from bush to bush, from tree to tree, um, and whichever flavor you like is the one that is the best, and that's what I say for these types of wild fruits. In parts of coastal Massachusetts where they're native to, they can be very abundant. If you go down to Barnstable or up to the North Shore, uh, you'll find rows and rows and rows of them. They, they go on forever in some places. So this is a very common species in ideal habitat. Now the beach plum is widely adaptable to different soil types. Uh, though it comes from uh, sand dune type soils, I find it does quite well in typical New England soils. Um, it doesn't need supplemental water, which is great, and it seems to bear prolifically some years. Um, I do prune them. Uh, pruning seems to encourage more fruits. Uh, and in spring, they are very ornamental as well. So they'll be full of flowers all along the main branches and they're a very attractive spring blooming plant. Now these will not be ripe until toward the end of August through September. Beach plums ripen in late summer. Um, they flower in April into May and ripen late August through September.